Hey everybody, Glenn here with Deviation Sports Cards. I'm gonna do a quick box break today. So I got a box of 98 football here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a rip, see if we can find some Peyton Manning rookies, maybe some Randy Moss rookies, things of that nature. Uh, just to see if we can maybe hit some good old vet uh, rookies. So we're just gonna get right into it and go from there. I'm going to go ahead and get my focus set here, and we are going to be off. Okay. So, we've got a lot of breaks like this up on the Facebook group right now. I think people are kind of like, you know, just iffy about buying into some of the older products. Uh, I, I'm not really sure why. I mean, some of the cards you can get out of here are just as good if not better than some of the crap you can get out of the stuff that's being charged way too much for these days uh, but i guess to each their own so like i said i'm going to go ahead and get right into this so we're looking for obviously the the big one we're looking for here is peyton manning <clears throat> we got jesse armstead gus Farrat, schuler emmett smith off season, Barry Still, Rod Smith, Jerome Bettis, John Mobley, Eric Brett, and Kevin Turner. Now Randy Moss has a rookie in here. Uh, there's a couple other decent rookies from 1998 as well. Dave Hines Award is another one of the big ones that's in here. I think there's some artist proof variations, which would be pretty nice to. Uh, Pull out of here. There's a Brett Favre. Complete players. That's not any kind of uh, short print or anything, it doesn't look like. Reggie White. Mike Hilliard. Leslie Shepard. And there we got a Alma Green rookie card. Uh, for the Seahawks. Yeah, I was actually going to hopefully find some packed fresh uh, gradable material out of here. So we'll see what we can come up with. Work done. Got another shiny card coming up here. Uh, what do we got here? Robert Brooks, rookie for the Packers. So, so far it's been a Packers break. Terrell Davis. Dexter Cookley. Byron Hansberg. And some of these are hard to read. Carnell Lake. Okay, Glenn Foley, Ed McCaffrey, Brian Cox, Ben Coates, Robert Porsche, Danny Cannell, John Elway, David Lefleur, Dale Carter, and Cordell Stewart offseason. Thomas, Keyshawn Johnson, Eric Dudley, Daryl Green, Troy Dayton, Wayne Trebet, Little Neon Neon, Marshall Falk, Willie McGinnis, and Brad Johnson. I think I saw that McGinnis online somewhere. Sign, that's why it's double guess there. Ty Detmer. Marcus Allen, Coriot, Martin, Early, a rookie of Jacquez Green, Jump Card, Jeff Blake, Westbrook, Anthony, and the enemy, the enemy, the enemy. Almost 
butchered the hell out of that. Luckily it came to me right before I said it. Okay, we got a rookie of Robert Edwards. I really freaking hate these stupid ball pit rookies. I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they did that. Lathon, Mohamed, Bazali. There's a Joe Jervicious rookie. And here we got a star salute of Warwick Dunn. It's a pretty cool looking card, actually. For score, that's a pretty fancy card. Uh, Miro, Allen, Davis, and rookie of Kevin Dyson. The pack had a few different rookies in it. It's probably the most I've seen in the pack thus far. Got Willie Green. Oh, we got something shiny in here. There's a Reno offseason. Lloyd. It's a Andre Wadsworth rookie. Morton and Cowboys. Emmett Smith. I believe this is one of those artist proofs. Yeah. It's a pretty cool looking card right there. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and throw that on the scanner down here, guys. I'm going to try to start doing this stuff more often during breaks to see if this stuff has any, if there's any value in uh, sending this stuff in to get it graded. rolling as soon as it lets me. Okay, we're waiting on that. Finish this pack off. Carter, Palmer, Vanover, and Eric Green. So I was looking for that artist proof of one of the big rookies from this year. That'd be really cool to find. Especially Peyton Manning. Probably one of my favorite quarterbacks for a team other than the Browns. It's a very offseason. Dawkins, Waters, Norton Jr., it's an Emmett Smith offseason, Banks, Bulware, Jerry Rice offseason, and a Jackie Harris. Let's see this thing going yet. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get this scan going. Okay, we got Brian Cox, Ben Coates, Robert Porcher, Canal, Kevin Hardy. Oh, and there we go. There's a Randy Moss rookie. Looks like it's in pretty nice shape. I'm going to set that bad boy aside for a scan. Uh, let's see, Michael Irvin. Another rookie, Kevin Dyson again. Ken Dodger and Jim... Drunken Miller. Remember that guy. So I'm actually thinking about, depending on what I pull out of here and how they look, sending some of these off to SGC just so I can do a reveal video on SGC. I'm not a huge fan of their stuff, but just to, I guess, give my opinion on it, actually having it in my hands. Uh, Eric Green, there's an off-season of Dorsey Levins, and Ernest Biner. Okay, Coriot again, Martin Early, there's a rookie of Jacquez Green again, uh, John Randall, Harris, Jeff George, Harris, Barry Sanders checklist. It's different. And Leroy Butler. Okay, got uh, Mushin Mohammed. Baselli. There's a rookie of Joe Vicious again. Zellers, Davis, Perryman, Sanders, Molds. William, Aeneas Williams and Kimball Anders. Okay. Lloyd. 
rookie of Andre Wadsworth, Morton, so Brett Favre checklist, Stubblefield, Brett Favre offseason, McNair, Way, there's our Heinz Ward rookie. Also looks to be in pretty good shape. So we'll go ahead and set that off to the side as well. Flip the scan over real quick. And then uh, Alex Van Dyke. So we got two of the three rookies we were looking for. Still waiting on the other one. Difficult on me. Got a Steve Young, off season. Mark Bruner, Johnson, Jefferson, Green, Still, Antonio Freeman. There's our Brian Greasy rookie. Derek Alexander and Drew Bledsoe. Okay, got a Willis Floyd, Derek Thomas, Neil O'Donnell, terrible rookie of Keith Brooking. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. This is off season of Eddie George. I like that. Eddie George from Ohio State University. Dilfer, Tio, Tony Gonzalez. Garrison Hurst. Okay. Got Dawson, JJ Stokes, Jonathan Ogden, Boing, Mathis, Means, Carl Pickens, Derek Brooks, Charles Johnson, and Blake Dawson. Halfway through, still looking for a Manning, McDuffie, Cardell, Wheatley, Marvin Harrison, Bennett, Collins, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Salam, Lavile, and there's an Eddie George regular offseason card. Okay, halfway, still no painting, come on painting. Go for artist proof Peyton. I want an artist proof Peyton bad. Got a Werfo. Miller. Mitchell. Benny Blades. Fryer. And we got a Terrell Davis. Complete players. There. Terry Glenn. Lamar Thomas. Ike Hilliard. Leslie Shepard. Yes, you gotta go ahead. Get this Randy Moss on the scanner. Woodson too. Pasca, off-season award done. Copeland, Andre Reed, Todd Collins. There's a Brett Favre checklist hollow or foil. A foil, not a hollow. So Packers trend continues with the variants. Galloway. There's a Marcus Nash, stupid balls rookie. Coakley and Byron Hansbard. Okay, Hayward, Andre Dryzen, Hanks, Tiki Barber, Glenn Foley, Ed McCaffrey, a rookie of uh, Ryan Leaf. That had been a big card back in the day. Now it's completely freaking useless. Uh, Haynes, LaFleur, and Dale Carter. 
Ryan Leaf. Reesh. Okay, Rick Meyer. And Terrell Davis checklist. Willie Rofe. Carter. Kenny Thomas. Keyshawn Johnson. Eddie George. Kevin Turner. Marshall Falk. And another Willie McGinnis. Uh, come on, man. Give me Woodson. Give me Man. <clears throat> Got Zach Thomas. Robert Smith. Randall Hill. Daryl Johnson, Ty Detmer, Marcus Allen, Eddie Kennison, another Ahmed Green, Brian Westbrook, and Rydell Anthony. So I don't want to see duplicate rookies here. That one is way off center. Hey, we got Thurman Thomas, Everett, Jim Harbaugh, Michael Strahan, another corny ball rookie, Lethan, Kaufman, Lake, Allen, and Willie Davis. Moss. Three packs left, and then we're 75% of the way through. Still no man, so that's not a good sign. All right. Got Schuler, offseason Emmett Smith, Brian Still, Rod Smith, Willie Green, offseason Marino, Sanders, offseason Stewart, Palmer, and Dan. Left in a stack. These packs rip funny. Gordon, Sanders offseason, Sean Dawkins, Ricky Waters, Norton, and Barry Sanders. Complete players. Jake Plummer, Brad Johnson, Peter Bowler, and Jerry Rice. Last pack of this stack. Getting a little worried. Haven't pulled that card yet. All right, we got Centers, Mays, Phillips, Galloway, Brooks. Curtis Conway for the Bears. We're done. The enemy, Flackwell, and that water. So three stacks in, still no Manning. Or Woodson for that matter. Okay, Morell. We're, we're, we're full, we're full. Miller, Mitchell, Blades, Fryer, Rod Smith, got a rookie here, there's Rod Woodson, okay, we'll set him off to the side, okay, so we got three of the four, Lamar Thomas, I kept it, missing the big one. Missing the big one. Okay. Eric Metcalf. There's a Jermaine Crowell. Wesley Walls. Kelroy Scott. Offseason Aikman. Smith. Ellard. Conway. And Sean Springs. Let's get this awesome off the scanner. Pretty rough. Gonna throw the Wilson on there. That's 
a little disappointing. I can see it kind of already how rough that edge is. Okay, Jimmy Smith, Sloan, Caruth, Hampton, Testaverde, Brown, Stewart, Brisby, Camara, and Chet. Oh, come on. Where's my manning? This pack does not want to open. Okay, Chris Warren. It's a Trevian Banks looking smug as hell. Spikes, that dude. Kyle Brady, offseason for now. Bledsoe, Michael Jackson, Randall Cunningham, Jamal Anderson. Five packs to go. Getting a little iffy. Coming down to the wire, maybe? Seahorn, Moore, Brackens, there's a Jerome Pathan, Kramer, and Cordell Stewart. Worst for a Browns fan than getting a parallel of a Steeler. Herman Moore, Smith, Ingram, and Stewart. Four packs to go. Okay, we got Garner, Neil Smith, Skip Hicks, Brown, Reed, and Irvin Fryer for the Eagles. Oh, that's got a big old neck right there in the top. It's nice. Okay, we got Martin. Was a Fred Taylor rookie? Bad. Dave Meggett and Drake. Three packs to go. Okay, we got Chris Chandler, Curtis Enos, Myra, Terrell Davis Checklist, Willie Rofe, Kiwana Carter. Elvis Gerbach, Darren Woodson. Oh, there's another Charles Woodson rookie. Got two of those. Unfortunately, I would rather have a Manning and Lamar Thomas. Two packs. Let me flip this card. Hastings, Sapp, Zach Thomas, Robert Smith, Randall Hill, Johnson, Corey Dillon, Terrell Davis, Jason Dunn, and ugh, that guy again. Alright guys, let's get a little last pack mojo going here. I am not feeling comfortable. Westbrook, Lane, Thomas, Everett, Harbaugh, Strahan, Brett Favre, Mario Bates, John Elway, and Michael Haynes. So no Peyton Manning. So that sucks. It's not what I was hoping for. But what I will do here is I'm going to go ahead and bring up these scans so we can take a look and see if uh, we got anything cool on here. That's the wrong one. So I am taking these scans at 3200 DPI. So for anybody that uh, is familiar with HGA's grading process, they are taking 3200 DPI scans 
and then looking at them under magnification and then using that as like the baseline of their grading. So I'm trying to kind of duplicate that before I send stuff into them to see if I get something similar to what they are getting or at least so I have a, a good idea of what I think they're going to come back as. So if we take a look at this, blow this image up a little bit. See all those speckles, I assume that's part of the artist proof, so blow this up even a little bit more. So you got nice sharp corners, clean edges on this card, at least on the front. Corners look pretty good up there. Don't see any major surface issues there. This might be just a little bit of dirt or something on the scanner. The black edge looks pretty nice. Corner looks nice down there. So yeah, I'd say the front of this card looks pretty, pretty good. I'm not real sure what this is right here. Maybe these are some print marks or something. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, got a little bit of something going on right in here too. A little kind of weird. I don't know. Oh, that might just be this right here coming up. Okay, yeah, that's probably what that is. So that's probably nothing to be overly concerned with. Okay, I'll take a look at the back of that. Let's see if this bad boy is a potential grading candidate. I'd say based off the front, it definitely is. And we'll see what the back looks like. Okay, so well, that corner looks maybe a tad bit blunted. Edge looks pretty clean, a little bit right there. Everything looks pretty good there. Edges look good. Corner looks good. Yeah, this is a pretty clean card. I'm not sure what that is right there. Maybe a little something on the surface, a couple little speckles right there but overall I would say this is definitely a grading candidate for me so nice looking card uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at this Randy Moss while we're we got this up I have a bad feeling about this one of those edges looks a little rough I think we'll see it pretty clearly here but this is hopefully giving everybody kind of an example of what you need to be looking for now with you know newer cards um, a lot of people complaining that they're sending cards in, anticipating tens, and then they're not getting tens, and they wonder why. I think it's just because people have gotten a little bit lazy about looking at stuff, and then we are not taking into consideration, you know, how much they're looking nowadays. So, corner up there looks clean. That corner looks clean. Now you can see kind of, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more here, and I don't know if this would affect it or not, but you can see kind of how choppy this edge is. It's looking... Yeah, there we go. See how it's kind of miscut? Got real choppiness here, so I'm imagining this would get dinged pretty badly for these. This rough, rough edge here. Even going down into that corner, it looks just really rough. So that's a shame. Uh, I would also say centering on this is a little bit off top to bottom. Look at that. Definitely kind of thicker up at the top. So let's go ahead and skip the back of that because I think that's probably not a grading care uh, candidate based off of that that right edge is just probably going to hold us back too much for it to be of any value, you know, this particular year. Let's go ahead and get this Rod Woodson. Take a look at him. Say so centering looks a little bit off top to bottom, but nothing super significant. Um, Better than the second copy for sure. Go ahead and zoom in on this bad boy. Okay. So that corner looks nice and sharp. Top edge looks clean. Sharp corner there. Maybe a little bit of something going on there. See, this edge looks still a little tiny bit rough, but nothing compared to that Randy Moss. That corner definitely looks like it's 
got something going on there. Let's go ahead and yeah, I'll just take a quicker look at that under magnification, but it looks like something might be jacked up with that corner. Let's see if that's just a speck or something on the scan, or if that's actually a mark on the surface. And that black corner and the black edges actually look really nice, which would be probably one of the harder things to manage on this card. I mean, you can see a little bit of flaking there, but that's under a lot of magnification. I'm going to take one quick look at the back, and then we're going to call it a day here, guys. So we'll zoom in on this bad boy. Now, I had to really play around with my settings on my scanner. I can only scan like a, a really small section at a 3200 DPI. It won't even let me scan the use the full scanner size. I have to like stick it up in the far corner and really just take a detailed scan of a 3x4 section for it to even allow me to do it, uh, which is, I guess, I'm sure their scanners are a lot better than mine. Yeah, there's definitely something going on with that corner. This is the same corner that we were looking at just from the opposite side, and yeah, there's definitely some blunting going on there or something. So, based on that, this is probably not a grading candidate either. I'll, oh, you can see we got some roughness on the back side of that edge as well. This is some of the stuff I think people kind of miss sometimes when they don't look at it as a scan or under magnification. Got a little bit of something going on there as well. Uh, minor stuff on the bottom there. I don't know if it's too bad. That corner is a little fuzzy. But I don't know if it hold too much against that either. But I would say just alone based on that right or top edge and then this corner or whatever the heck's going on here. It's not worth sending in to get graded. So uh, I'll take a look at the other cards and see. I mean, I got the other Woodson, which I would say, uh, based on what I'm seeing just in general, this particular one right here, I'd say it's too way too far off top to bottom to be a, a grading candidate. Uh, still a nice rookie card, but not worth it. Uh, this Heinz Ward... I actually probably scan this and take a look at it. I mean, it is a little bit off-center, it looks like, but nothing super significant. See, uh, left to right on the back is a little bit off as well. Uh, hard to tell top to bottom. So this definitely isn't a perfect centering candidate, but still a, a nice looking card. Surface looks nice and clean. So I'll take a look at the, the corners and the edges and stuff under magnification to see if it's viable or not. But I would say that the uh, Emmett Smith Artist Proof is definitely a grading candidate. That's a nice looking card too. So I might go ahead and send that in on, you know, a low cost option. Put that up, see what I can pull out of that. But I would say based on those scans, this has a, a really good chance at a 9.5. Everything looks pretty good. So I think that's going to be it, guys. Centering is a little bit off on this one as well. If you kind of look at that break there at the top versus the bottom, you know, centering's off on this as well. So, yeah, we'll see. So, that's what it is. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't pull a, a Peyton Manning rookie like I was hoping for, but we got some decent cards out there. We got uh, four of the five big rookies uh, for the year. So, like I said, I've got a break of this. It's actually the rookie uh, debut version of this. So I'm hoping that we can maybe pull some Mannings out of there. Uh, this is what I've got up on the the Facebook group right now. You can see this is a little bit different. So what I opened up today was not the it just says you know the rookie brand down here. This is the rookie preview edition, uh, a little bit different. So maybe we'll find something in here that we didn't find in this particular one. So that's up on my break or on the Facebook group right now. Uh, anybody that doesn't know, you can go to the Deviation Sports Cards Facebook group. Uh, go ahead and answer a couple questions. Join that group. Go ahead and go to the YouTube channel, which you're already